Yo, no lie. This is the flyest old dude I have ever seen. He's rocking Air Maxes, a little top hat, a blue jacket. He's dripping, man. I'm getting out competed with in the thrift. And the day just started. But what's up and what's good, guys? Last night I was eBay finessing and I just thought about it. I was like, man, I gotta make another trip to the thrift. You guys know what time it is. 25 days of thriftmas type of vibes. So it's only right that I got Taz on Torso. Um, shout out everyone who was going crazy on the website last night. I appreciate you guys, everyone who's been watching the videos. Thank y'all. Without further ado, let's hop in yet another thrift. All right, guys, we are in here. And man, they need to cut the audio, bro. They're trying to give me these copyright strikes. And we just started. But um, I found a couple of things, man. Some vintage gems. You have that, oh, meet me at the crossroads so you won't get lonely. You have the Crossroads Ford all embroidered. Turquoise truck encrusted little like satin jacket. It does have little stains on it. It's like $4. I might get it. I might add some more intention to the spate, to the spaint to the paint splatters or I might like decorate it a little bit try and customize this beat piece and then you have the and one mixtape exclusive jacket looks like someone just slashed it with a bleach pen absolutely out of there this thing is reversible old school and one so fire so stained so sad pass now this little puppy right here though I might have to get man this thing is 10 bucks but it's that reversible duck camo jacket with the corduroy hits attention to detail quality i might have to oh uh, yo this is hilarious yo should i ironically cop the karen jacket as a joke don brooke made in usa baby five holla yo that's hilarious man <laughs> yes this is exactly why i came here for the duck bowling pin handcrafted in the US of A, daddy, yeah. All right, guys, we're up out of there. I got served a fat L in the first store of the day. That thing was a dud, but I managed to come away with one piece, this nice little jacket. And the reason I grabbed it is to do yard work with, or yard work in, I guess. But I had a feeling that store would suck. They had a half off day yesterday, and then I saw they put out no new men's clothes. So it kind of was what it was, but you gotta risk it for the thrift biscuit every twice in a while. But luckily, there are a lot more stores, only a couple minutes away, so let's pop over. Lavish lifestyle, come with some extra luggage. Lungs feel bigger budgets. It's a touchy subject. Oh, I told you guys, man, we were only a minute away. All right, man. We got that catitude starting it off right in this spot. They have the Garfield straight chef and whipping in the kitchen. I'm gonna grab this dude just to throw in an order. He's like a dollar, so when someone balls out on the website, you might be greeted with Garfield. Oh yes, this store is a whole nother story. Check it out, dude. You have two bootleg vintage Mexico soccer jerseys. While these are not the little ABA exclusives, they're still super sick with the all over print, little like Aztec or I guess um, Mayan art all up on them, little Olmec type of vibes. I'm definitely gonna grab both of these. These are just so sick. Me and Kinky might do a, a little twin fit pick in this before they do hit the website. Bro, he has that impeccable tongue work. Is he like eating a worm? Young bird. Oh, yup. All right, guys, this store really is coming through for Cantu. This is how I like to get my mornings started. Right, we have the hometown heat, Houston Astros. It is Ace Town, Texas, Braveswood, baby. All embroidered, 2000s, majestic jersey. Wow, thread count abundant thing is looking like a lightly toasted bagel and then you have the bootleg adidas liverpool jersey it's like falling apart so i'm not going to get this one this though a definite banger yes all right no lie this multicolored picnic blanket dockers button up goes nuts nice. nice. like the cut and sew multicolor facade on the flannel is out of there i'm gonna have to grab it Jesus, hit them links in style. This golf bag is the craziest color scheme I've ever seen, hands down. Aquaberry floral encrusted, made with pride in the US of A. Hey, I also got this uh, little wolf shirt as well. Figured it's mentionable, little Bryce Canyon. Got the little pooch on the shirt, okay, okay. Oh my God. This chair is like 100% Tiffany silk. Put in that work, worms. Yeah. Jesus, man, hello. 
I'm getting a little chubby. It's just like that. We're out of that store. In and out with a quickness. Just like my experience with your mother. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Anyways, guys, yeah, I got one beautiful bag just sitting atop the Thrift Chariot. Uh, dude, I spent more time in line than I did actually looking around for clothes. True. It was packed up in there. But um, yeah, man, shout out Goodwill. They came through with some clutch finds that I definitely needed to lift my Thrift Spurrit. Without further ado, let's hit another one. All right, guys, we're at the next spot, Value Village. Dude, I feel like I'm on the cusp of just hitting, and this might be the spot. I can feel it in my spirit. Let's pray to God, the truth lies within Value Village. All right, guys, I was about to whip out the handkerchief, man, to just soak up these tears, because this store has been a brick. Aside from the golden pig, what on earth is this, bro? This is the creepiest, most tweezed eyebrows on a pig I have ever seen in my life. That's just out of there. It looks like they got a couple pigs though. Ah, I got that pork in abundance. But I did find this one piece here that low key changed my mood, man. This is a really sick 90s jacket. It has double buttons everywhere a button can be included. And it has like the craziest color blocking on the front. And then the back is bold with the color blocking. This is like a good 10 bucks. Of course, I had to start diving in the women's section, but in the men's, you know, I came through with some slight work. You got the little Nautica Challenge Polo size small. And then you have some crazy vintage essentials. You have the all purple codeine color scheme, silver gator on a chest, Lacoste six dollars, super old school Lacoste alligator tag on that dude. Oh my god! And then you have one of the oldest tags I have ever seen on a members only jacket. It's coming in the clean. Come on, dude. Tripping. Come on, bro. It's coming in the very clean shit brown color scheme which is obviously very desirable but look at that tag though dude this has to be like 70s early 80s but yeah just a super clean brown it's like size medium so i'm gonna grab all four of these things and then i might depart because it's lacking oh yeah guys what a day man yeah all right so i got a fat trash bag full of fire up in there which is amazing and i did actually pick up a few more pieces that i want to show you guys a real real quick like all right so i managed to pick up four crew necks this one is all hand custom made in usa four dollars you have like merlin or i guess some rendition of santa and then i got flavors of vintage crew necks we have the pink the maroon another pink one and then these were super cool i found some hand crotched or in other words crocheted little uh bert and ernie figurines these dudes are so sick that i just need them for like the crib or maybe i'll flip them in an order or something like that they're just so hard so yeah four more things so good baby all right guys we jumped into yet another one and we have some finds up in here man you have the texas a m vintage hockey jersey all stitched in this thing is crazy it says like tully on the back you have the tie downy racing jacket might be relevant in a future instagram post and then you have the hats you got the trojan product catch the perfect wave drip too hard don't stand too close bro you might get pregnant this is fire dude Oh my God, I don't know what product this Trojan was referring to, but I know which one I'm thinking of. This is nuts. And then you have the little Southern Leisure. You got that little dust just hitting the sprint in the air. Southern Leisure and the script embroidery. I'm getting both of these, man. Actually, I'm getting all four of these. All right, guys, we got a live one, man. I'm telling y'all, blessings are being bestowed. In the blue color scheme, you have the Marlboro on limited just wait for it wait for the flip wait for the dip wolf on the back howling at the moon balto is that really you dude this is a crazy t-shirt right here made in usa it has a little tag right there marlboro and you guys don't even got to get the cancer to get the t-shirt that's what i love the most um and then to match it wait one second i found this amazing texas trucker hat simple sexy that is a banger of a vintage outfit all found in the thrift 
Oh boy. <laughs> it's lit. All right, guys. We started off slow, but we have built up momentum. It snowballed. My hands are so full, but check out these finds, bro. Half man, half lion. You have the Bob Marley tee, the Stubbs Harley Ace Town, Texas. You have the cut and sew, super old school Quicksilver. Look at the tag just hiding right behind that zipper. Oh my goodness, dude. These are crazy vintage, sick. They have like a green little patchwork on the back. And then you have the par four essential 90s vertically striped polos. Wow, oh yeah, and I can't forget about the big logo. Jesus, heavenly devoted son, Christ. And the Harley font, bless up. Bro, that thrift store went hard as hell, man. Look at this, three sacks, one, two, three, count them up with me, class. Dude, they had so much cool stuff in there. I was very pleased, especially with the hats, man. I love myself some old school hats and this trojan products one is just something out of folklore something out of fiction just look at that i mean it's coming in the clean reproductive fluid color scheme which we definitely need in our lives <laughs> so anyways man i think i think this was the one that i felt in my bones earlier when i knew i would hit i just knew it it wasn't the value village but it was this thrift shop. All right, I think we're gonna go to one more and just see what's good. Um, if there's like a cut to me in the house, I ain't find nothing. All right, let's get it. Y'all should already know what time it is. We did hit, we got like six things up in here. You have the Diablo 3 T. I do believe that's what that is, man. Got the demon on it, you feel me? Five bucks, property of the University of Texas, vintage on the Toltecs. This is only $3. Uh, you have the Charlie Brown's Christmas tea, 50 cent. Then you have the Grinch, kind of like back and front print. Hooville getting lit with the tree. And then you have the dead stock banger just an essential health club vintage windbreaker and then last but not least we got some more hat heat that chippewa boots usa i think it's just cool especially with the brown suede so must cop two bucks come on all right man today's been a flawless victory another bag secured let's get back home Ooh guys look at this hat man this thing fits flawlessly this has to probably be my favorite thing I got in today's video, aside from these little shorts as well and the Marlboro tee. But yeah, we got sacks of fire today. So if you guys did enjoy, please smash a like on this video. Hey buddy, come here, man. Sorry y'all, I had to let out my little demon. My little boy over here was tweaking. But my favorite thing I got were these amazing Quicksilver shorts. They're like patchwork denim. I told y'all, man, they have Tiffany on that booty. And these are original made in USA, Quicksilver shorts which are pretty damn rare to actually find in the wild. I tried looking up an equivocal pair to get the value and I could not find a single thing that looked anywhere close to these. Um, I found some crazy like multicolored denim jackets. Those are going for like $255. So these shorts in and of themselves are probably worth at least a bill. And luckily, if I do my classic rack or rack wrap around the neck technique, they do barely meet, so I probably will be able to squeeze my fanny, my fat donk, up into these shorts. If you guys just want to go ahead and imagine, whip out that hand moisturizer, and have at it. By all means, go ahead. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching again. Like, comment, subscribe, live the dream, eat that ice cream. My website is thriftinvintage.com. If you guys want to support me there, go ahead and do so. If not, watching the video is more than enough. Live the dream, eat that ice cream. I'm locked, I'm loaded. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.